Mount Castle who crushes lefties will see a curveball from the lefty Will Smith. Very small sample size theater, but a good sample size. Two for three well, against the 12 year big leaguer Smith. Yeah, you know, last three years, world champion teams, not a hard thrower. Change up, curveball the first pitch, best pitch is a slider. Throws it you know, almost 40% of the time. And so he's got to throw a strike, and you got to be careful with Ryan. Not even close. Now, from a matchup perspective here, Jim, the Orioles would probably love to see a lefty with Mountcastle, Santander, and Westberg. The Royals have Anderson and Stratton in the bullpen, but they think Smith is their closer. Well, he's got to face three there. batters, too. And the first one of them just walked. Well, well, well. Tying run at first. Nobody out in the ninth, and here comes Anthony. Not much history against Will Smith, but one very good swing in that history. Well, he had 22 saves last year, but he was two and seven for the Rangers with a 4.40 ERA. And doesn't get the low changeup. Well, Clemens, the home plate umpire, already one walk-off win in this series for the Orioles. That was two nights ago, courtesy of the on-deck hitter Jordan Westberg. Santander to left for a base hit. Just past a diving win, and Mount Castle moves to second, which means the winning runs are aboard for Monday night's walk-off winner. Well, middle of the plate, and again, if you hit the ball hard, you want to get into the outfield. Witt can't get it. Because of the exit velocity, just hit it too firmly. And Anthony's going to take his seat. Job well done. Now Cedric Mullins becomes the game winning run. The last time we saw Jordan Westberg in the ninth inning, it went quite swimmingly. Well, Perez comes in at first just in case he's going to bunt. And of course, if he bunts, what's going to happen is you'll you'll walk Hayes on deck. Oh, he does show bunt. Throw through to second. The pitch was given as a strike as Westberg offered. Well, I would venture, and I'm not saying he can't bunt, but I haven't seen enough of him. But I don't think Jordan Westberg did a lot of bunting in the minor leagues. I mean, you know, everybody can talk about working on it. It is very, very difficult. He doesn't have a sack button in his major yeah, league yeah, career. Yeah. Mount Castle has good speed. Nobody's holding him on, so he can get a big jump. Doesn't have to be the perfect bump. He's going to square again. Yeah. All right, well, this is what he did two nights ago. He was swinging away on an 0-2 pitch. Yeah, man, it's just a you know fastball up middle of the plate. Everybody talked about his power in the minor leagues, center field, right center. Well, there it was. And the Orioles are winning. Six for four over the Royals. Did not have a minor league sacrifice fun either in three years, Jordan. So this would be the first of his career anywhere. And he lays it down. And he does get the job done for Mean over to first. So the tying run to third, the winning run to second with one out. Good enough. Well, he does get it done. Got the bat out in front of home plate. Take a look. See how out out front it was. If it's back, very hard to get the ball in fair territory. So I knew they're going to walk Hayes. So Hayes will be put on, and that puts up a force at every base. And you also can, if you're Matt Cotrera, you can actually make a pitching change if you choose to. Well, the Orioles don't have a righty left on the bench. They have O'Hearn and Kemp. So he's going to get his lefty lefty matchup with Smith and the young Kowser. So you figured that's what the Royals would do if the Orioles bunted. They did it. And I also think that this is, uh, you know, the, the way Kowser hit lefties in spring training, 
I think Brandon Hyde was comfortable with this. Yeah, Brand, yeah. Brandon Hyde knows yeah. this is going to happen if he gets yeah. a bunt. And he'll put the game in the hands of the rookie, Colton Kowser, who's not even close on strike one. Like we said, Smith's best pitch is the slider. So, will he make a mistake? Will he get one up in the zone? And, you know, again, I, I, fly balls of any depth is probably going to score a run. Matt Castle runs well. Obviously, a base hit. Excellent speed with Mullins is going to win the game. But you got a veteran, a guy that's been around forever against a rookie. Nice play by Fermin. You got to trust your catcher. And slider's your best pitch. Career lefties 219, 273 on base against Smith. 18 points worse than righties of average. 43 points on base. And the lefty Kowser checked his swing. He did not offer. So Colton's got the count back into a more favorable spot. Yeah, ideally, you know, I've, over the years you talk to left-handers, what do you look for, lefty versus lefty? The breaking ball that starts at you is the one you want to try to hit, the one that starts in the middle of the plate until you get the two strikes. It's going to be a pitcher's pitch. Take it. So let's see if he gets a good pitch to hit. Yeah. 90 miles per hour up and in. Will Smith's 576th career big league game. Colton Kowser's 32nd. Two and two. He struck, struck him out. out. Knee high strike. High heater up and in. Trusted his 90 mile per hour fastball because of location and then goes back to what he does 41% of the time. 6 5 guy. Good angle. Perfect pitch. Knee high. Middle of the plate. Well, it's all on James McCann's shoulders now. Two out, bases loaded in the ninth. Ooh. Did he get hit? No. <laughs> Almost. That would have tied the game. Instead, it's ball one. Will Smith's doing a Don Stanhouse impression here. McCann has three career walk-off plate appearances, his last 2021. Mountcastle the tying run at third. Mullins at second, and McCann takes Ooh. ball two. Yeah, this is what Stanley would do for us. You thought you had the game in hand, which you never knew, even though it ultimately turned out okay. Boy, he's got everybody on the Royal bench and the Oriole bench on their toes. A 2 0 -oh pitch. McCann, left side, base hit. Mountcastle ties it. Mullins will win it. James McCann gives the Orioles their second walk off win in three nights. Worth the wait. Well, Matt Cotrero did have an option. He could have brought the right hander in. He doesn't. And James McCann makes him pay. Big double earlier in the game right here. I mean, fastball down the middle. And again, you pinch run. So you got great speed at Mullins. Tying run scores right there, Mount Castle. And here comes the game winner. So James the McCann. Yeah. So the veteran.